Welcome back, ladies, gentlemen, and NBs, and thank you for tuning back into St. Andrew TV. I'm your host, Andrew, and as you saw from the clip at the start of the video, that was Denzel Washington portraying Sam Chisholm in the Magnificent Seven remake. And he does a little out-of-pocket speed unload of his single-action army, and then we followed up that clip with me trying to the speed unload of the single action army. So we're gonna dive into it today and see if it's at all plausible. No one on the corner has a wagon like us. Hit me on my barn of prepaid wireless. We pack and deliver like UPS trucks. Already gonna hell just pumping that gas. All I wanna do is and uh Before we begin, I would like to point out a few things. In that scene, he was recently firing, so those cartridges were hot. And I have had times where I'm unloading recently shot cartridges where I tip the gun back and pull the ejector rod to no avail because the brass had already fallen out. So I didn't even need the ejector rod. So we will not be using fresh cartridges today. I also understand that when I'm using cartridges that have already been fired, they can maybe warp a little bit. Not likely. They could be malleable when warm and then maybe introduced to a different temperature. They could move around and, you know, not be perfectly cylindrical. So I understand that as well. But we're going to do the best that we can today to replicate Sam Chisholm's speed unload of the Colt single action army. So what's the first thing we're gonna do? We are gonna open up our loading gate. We are gonna cock back the hammer to half cock and we're gonna see if our gun is empty, which it is. Safety first on St. Andrew TV. The next thing we're gonna do is I have in front of me six brass cartridges that have already been ejected and there is no lead. So when I load these in here, there is absolutely no chance that a bullet is gonna come out of that barrel. So we are acting as safe as we possibly can. So after we find out that our gun is empty and we have empty shells down here, I'm gonna talk about hand position. So from what I saw, he held it where he had his four fingers on the frame and he had his thumb on the cylinder, tilted it up and used his thumb to spin the cylinder around, and I suppose the heated cartridges just fell out. I would imagine that an ejector rod would have been needed for at least a few of them. At the start of the video, you saw me try it, and I actually got two to fall out without using the ejector rod, but I don't know how realistic it is. I'll actually do it with the cylinder loose so you can see. So I have my four fingers like that, and you can just run your thumb across the cylinder, and theoretically your cartridges are going to fall out. And I'll do it from this side. I suppose in a perfect world that would happen the way Denzel Washington's character showed it in the movie. Personally, I think it looks like a little bit of CGI to add the Hollywood effect or the cool factor, something like that. But we're going to take our pistol, we're going to open it up, we're going to take our empty shells and we're going to try it out for ourselves. And then I'm going to show you a way that you could possibly do this. You're just going to need your non-dominant hand firing these things out. But let's try his way first. Everything's locked and loaded. All right, shoot the bad guy. Bang, bang. Bad guy's done. Half cock opened up. I'm trying to do this with one hand. Get your fingers on that frame and I guess just spin. Oh, there's one. We got one. All right, let's try it from this side. Well, we got another one too. So with that not working, I'm gonna show you a way to speed unload your Colt single action army. You're just gonna need your other hand. So not as cool as Denzel Washington, but I mean, come on. Who's as cool as Denzel Washington? I can't name one off the top of my head. 
Let's try this in a more reasonable fashion. I'll show you how to speed unload your Colt single action revolver. So let's start from this side. The hand placement, about the same. You're just gonna need your other hand on the ejector rod, feeding the rod through each chamber and firing out the exhausted cartridge. We can do the exact same thing. We're just adding a hand. There you go. And then you can start feeding fresh cartridges into your chambers. I'm gonna do it on this side now, and I'm gonna do it forward facing. After I pick up everything that I've just thrown on the ground. Oh. Just like that. That one shot halfway across the room. And this time, since I'm looking at the camera, I can look out into the great beyond and see if there's any enemies out there that I need to spot before I start reloading for my next gunfight. Now I'll reach into my cartridge belt and start doing this process all over again. That is about it for St. Andrew TV today. This was the episode of how to speed unload your Colt single action army. There really isn't a super fast way because that's why magazines were invented for handguns. Much quicker, much more efficient, but it is cool to dive into Old West lore and try some of this stuff. Even though the clip that we tried to replicate today was a little far-fetched, just a little bit. I had fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, not much to learn today. Maybe you guys would want to sand down the ends of your exhausted Colt 45 cartridge to make them fall out of the cylinder a little better if you were gonna practice the speed unload that we saw in the movie clip. You could give that a try. I tried it with one of them. I would imagine that it's gonna be a long task for something that you're probably not gonna do at the gun range because first of all, it's not safe. And second of all, you're probably gonna get kicked out. Anyway, that's it for me. My name is Andrew with St. Andrew TV. Leave a like if you've enjoyed this video today and leave a comment of what I should do next. Or just say, hey, thank you to everyone who has subscribed. I really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart to the top of it. But if you came across this video because you like Denzel Washington, maybe you like Old West firearms, maybe you like a little bit of a history lesson. I don't know. But if you enjoy any of those things, Think about sticking around by hitting that subscribe button. You're a daisy if you do.